Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors, and today I want to talk a little bit about camshafts. This cam is out of an MGB, although it's much the same as out of an MGA. Brooks is going to come in here close, and we're going to take a look at, uh, at these cams here. Now, just offhand, a cam, a lobe, should have a nice pointy end to it. The difference between the minor diameter and the major diameter on these cams is 0.265 inches. I know the workshop manual says 0.250, but it's wrong. Here's another ni nice one here. It's got a nice nose to it. Okay? All right, well, over a period of time, uh, because the cam is soft, because of uh, contamination in the oil, whatever, the nose starts to wear away. I don't know whether we can see this, our camera's focusing real slowly, um, but we'll take a look at that one. And on the other end here, we'll take a look at this one. This nose is really worn away. You can see that that's no longer got the point to it that, uh, that it should have. This is an exhaust valve. That's particularly horrid because it means the exhaust valve is not opening far enough and the speed of the exhaust gases increases and erodes away uh, the exhaust valve and the exhaust seat. Now there's another thing that goes wrong with these cams too and that is that the connecting rods which run here, 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 and here run about a sixteenth of an inch away from the cam and once you begin to lose the bearing then if I turn this real slowly here you'll be able to see that on this one the connecting rod came up and crashed against the cam on this side and on this side. Now the reason we're doing this video here today is because we had a particularly horrid cam come in. Uh, the guy uh, was able to drive the car most of the way here but AAA got him the rest of the way. Let's take a look at his cam shaft. Can we see this down here? Is this focused? Look at the nose on this one. There is no nose. Oh my gosh. Nor is there a nose on this one. And we've even got one here which has gone flat. I mean this uh, this is just unbelievably horrible. Look at how flat this has gone here and how bad this nose is worn down here. Now this is some sort of reground competition cam that he had installed in the engine. Uh, just a, a note to everyone to be cautious uh, about reground cams and on top of that it was struck here on, with the number four rod when the number four rod failed. So this cam has really been through the mill. There are about 50 different camshafts available from about eight different suppliers with names that you'd see on wallpaper. Um, uh, names like Super Sprint or Road and Rally or Fast Road. What does all that stuff mean? We've well, got to take a look at the specs. If you need a copy of this chart, we can email it to you. Um, and uh, there are just a whole range of cams. The cam's the main controller in the engine. It tells you whether it's running clockwise or anti-clockwise, putting out most power at 800 or 8,000. You know, it's the main controller. So anyway, the cam, cam selection is really important, and you always want to buy a really good, high-quality cam. Anyway, that's my little vignette today on camshafts. Remember that I'm going to be in Indianapolis on the 12th of April. Um, it's Bob Connell's MG service. And on the 30th of May, we're having another tuning for speed. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys later.